comparison video today on the Roxio game capture cards, the new HD Pro up the top and the old game capture down the bottom. Um, so in these two clips here you'll see the new game capture HD Pro down the bottom right and the old one up the top left. I will go into full detail in this video about the new one compared to the old one for people that want to know because I haven't seen a video up on YouTube yet and I just want to inform people the difference and so you can make a good decision in buying your next capture card. Um, so the Game Capture HD Pro cost me 170 including postage. Um, I'm in Australia so it cost me 170 and it comes with a USB cable to your computer. You need to purchase the component cables or HDMI depending on what console you're on. Um, so that's a bit extra, but the quality compared to an, to the old one or to what you're running at the moment is possibly better. Um, it compares to all the Blackmagic HD PBR2, same quality if not better because it's running HDMI um, without the price tag. So it's definitely a great option for a first or your next capture card. Um, these clips here are actually from the old Roxio for anyone that hasn't seen the old Roxio quality. Um, so I believe this is only 460, whereas the new um, Roxio Game Capture HD Pro gives you the option of 460 or 720 HD. Plus it gives you a little quality bar um, in the recording screen, whether you want to record at low quality or high quality. Um, gives you the hue, saturation, brightness, contrast bar, so you can adjust all that depending on what game you're playing, you might need to adjust those settings. Um, but there is a big downfall to it, which I will explain in a bit. Um, so, the old one, it, for anyone that has it, you will notice ghosting in text and things like that. It's probably not so noticeable here. Um, depending whether you play Call of Duty Battlefield or other games, it's, it's hard to tell. But for anyone that does play Battlefield, you'll notice in the menus there's ghosting in the text and that kind of thing after you've recorded and on your TV. This is the same quality as my HDMI cable running straight from my PS3 to my TV. But my setup for my HD Pro is actually five component cables in and out, plus a HDMI from my uh, game capture card to my TV. Um, Alright, so on top of that, your new one has more features. So you've got your live stream option. Um, you've got, I haven't played around with it too much, so these setting, these are just like plain uh, rendered clips, no effects, just a, maybe a tiny bit up on the brightness, but um, yeah, there's not much. Alright, so here, these clips here are from the new Game Capture HD Pro. So this is the Battlefield 3 menu, there is no ghosting in the text whatsoever, it's much clearer, and sorry I didn't do a comparison on the old Roxio on the menu, but... Um, anyone that has the old one, you will tell the difference here, and it is definitely worth the upgrade. Um, so this, these are just gameplay videos from the new one. Now the big downfall to the new one is you cannot import the clips that you record straight to Sony Vegas. The clip you can, but the audio, audio, sorry, will not show up because you can only record as an M2TS file. Um, Vegas doesn't support the audio there and you either have to convert it or what I've done here is actually put it through Video Wave, which is the included editing software in it and just rendered them out as uh, 1280 by I think 720 or whatever it was um, videos beforehand so I've actually rendered these out in Video Wave first then to Vegas so I can get the audio um, it is a pain in the ass and I didn't know until I bought it but with the quality change compared to the old one, it's definitely worth it. Plus you've got your live stream option and I believe you can live commentary um, using the new one as well. Um, so if you've got any questions regarding the new one or or the old one or anything like that, um, leave a comment or inbox me either way, I will reply. And uh, yeah, if this comparison video helped you make your next decision good that was the plan of it hope I helped and um, yeah like I said great capture card but the Sony Vegas did let me down but overall um, really happy with it but yeah thanks for 7,000 views as well guys I'm happy about that and um, yeah thanks for watching